Well, hello, Leo. Welcome back. If you're new, I'm welcoming you here. Leo, thank you so much for your beautiful likes, your comments. I appreciate them. It really allows me to pick up on your energy. Thank you, Leo. Let's find out what's going on for Leo Energy Spirit. What's happening for the zodiac sign of Leo? What are Leo's fortunes for the 15th through the 22nd spirit? What about Leo? 15th through 22nd September spirit. What's going on? What can Leo expect to see, know, or hear? What's happening for Leo? Leo 15th through the 22nd. Angel. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so you definitely are on judgment is here soul searching will bring you inner peace to many areas of your life so it looks like leo is doing some soul searching here your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so indeed you are on one it's phoenix here be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis phoenix from the ashes here guys whoa there's leo the lion themselves harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently that is what Leo is supposed to do. Stand in their own power. They're ferocious. They're brave. They're courageous. Oh, I'm so happy to hear this for you. You have an angel around you. Your angels are guiding you. You're on a spiritual journey. You're soul searching with this judgment. And you're going to rise above it. And there's the Leo Sun card. Imagine that. <laughs> I love it for you. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. I love this for you, Leo. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Both the Leo cards are here star hard times are over look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity beware and be careful who you trust at this time that's what your angels are warning you about so maybe you were dealing with someone that you could not trust or your trust was betrayed <gasps> look at this unity a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love, Leo. I'm so happy for you. Yes, I do. Your angels are guiding you here. Be careful who you trust. That's what they're telling you. You have the lion spirit. You have the sun and the star Soul searching will bring you inner peace. Leo, you must have gone through a pretty tough period for these cards to be here. You've gone through a period of crisis, that's for sure. But I'm sure glad to see that lion energy coming out for you and the sun. That is true, Leo. That's a true Leo standing in their power and i couldn't be happier for you you've definitely gone through some crisis though i can tell you that but you have a lot to look forward to just be careful of who you trust at this time spirit is saying mm. let's find out what's going on Yep, somebody's been broken open, somebody's feeling the weight of the world, and there is an oracle's gift.
You could be an oracle. This is a new beginning. This is a... You could have received the gift. This is a gift of healing, a gift of happiness. It's like being broke open to allow these messengers to reach you. Because you're soul searching and it looks as though your angels are guiding you. And this could be the gift. You could be gifted like a messenger. You could be this angel. You could be just soul searching, asking your angels because you're feeling the weight of the world. But the oracle is here to give you this gift. Ooh, it has a powerful purpose. The power of purpose, it has a great purpose behind it. So just breathe. It's like a deep breath. You may have had to let something go or... But it's awakening the genius within you. It's an 11 card. Mm. There was smoke and mirrors here. Somebody was... Uh, not all that they seemed to be was an illusion. It's like the genius awoken and it's like you saw that it was smoke and mirrors. Someone was being not as it seemed. It was smoke and mirrors. It was Somebody got a higher view, a higher perspective. You'll come shining through. It's a beautiful uncaging. So quiet your mind. It's a willing release. It's like... Whatever you, you got on this higher perspective, you may have willingly released something. It's a beautiful uncaging. So quiet your mind. There's great big love here. It's like magic, a burst of magic. Somebody's wishing upon a star. What is Leo wishing for, spirit? Roots of abundance, a solid foundation. Wanting to plant roots of abundance, like a solid foundation. And it's like, into me I see. So Leo is going within. It's beyond the ordinary. Someone was telling a tall tale. And is wishing for some like 
magic or wishing or praying for something magical to happen to like write a new chapter to start a new chapter to rewrite something someone is saying can't rewrite the past so it's like rewriting your future it's unchartered waters it's like You've got the compass there. You're being led. You're being guided. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And then off you go on this spiritual journey. Well, well. Birds of a feather flock together here. Yes, they do. Entering the divine matrix, uncharted waters, you are definitely soul searching. It's like in perfect harmony, things are all exposed and revealed so you could reveal the royal you. Going to make a powerful move with the spirit of gratitude to endless possibilities, healing the heart. It's like a fresh start. It's like keep your ears open. It's being open to discover. It is what it is, spirit is saying. But it's waking the lion, calling on the universe. Oh, there is love here and it will bear fruit. It has a good motive. You hold the key to someone's heart or they hold the key to your heart. And it is seen beyond. Yeah, so it's almost like there's that. Someone was at the land in between. And it's about divine timing. The time machine is here. It's time. time it's time to heal the heart your angels are guiding you someone's going on a spiritual journey Trust. Trust may have been broken. Learning to nurture. Simply love is here. This is unconditional love or it's feeling there's this child in here someone is feeling helpless and hopeless facing their darkest fears and maybe this dark journey is not knowing which way to turn because they could have been detached from their emotions, but there's healing going on here. This could be inner childhood wounds. Someone had to face their darkest fears. That's where the great work is done. It definitely is. In our shadow side, in our fears, it's like... Someone could have been manifesting their darkest fears. 
because someone was refusing to see. They didn't want to face it. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to acknowledge it. But I know someone is going through a journey here. It's a spiritual quest, a spiritual journey. And someone didn't want to see, but they needed to face their darkest fears. They could have manifested their worst fears. They could have manifested their darkest fears. Or they were manipulated and they didn't want to see it, but they are facing their darkest fears. Someone was refusing to see. They can rebuild and they can find balance. They're taking leadership and facing the dark, stepping out of the dark into the light, taking control back. The blossom. Communicate here. <laughs> For joy and stability. Opportunity is beckoning. Somebody is taking a rest or a break. Soul searching. Could be going through some sort of judgment. Or is trying to search their soul. It's always about that. Going within. And taking the time. The time. Are waiting some results. Maybe they weren't following their intuition. But it, they are now. That's allowing the universe to communicate through this angel guiding and protecting this person while they're doing this soul searching. Moving on. Trying to heal. Again, it's like breaking free of the chains. Wanting new vitality. A well-deserved reward. It's a accomplishment. Believe and succeed. Spread your wings and fly. Simply love. Share the love. Somebody wants to share their love. There is and heal something. They were refusing to see. But now they are seeking the truth. I like it. I like it a lot. Being opening up. To the truth. Dreams are coming true. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Share the love. There'll be a coming together. Someone needed to change their focus and embrace their intuition. It is a soul. You are going through a soul journey. Embracing your intuitive gifts, embracing your intuition, healing. Wow. Someone was refusing to see. They're feeling sad and isolated. 
and someone who wants to shine or someone will shine it's like wanting yeah to be taught or learn new new things new way of being looks like through spiritualism learning about it giving and receiving that is unconditional love again balance feminine and masculine energies these two are united but this change Giving and receiving equally balanced. Two souls combined. Your twin. Daydreaming and making decisions. Look at all the sevens. Oh my God. Now this is like passion here. This is like wanting success and growth but facing challenging times. Yeah, because someone needed to confront their shadow. They were refusing to see that they needed to do some work here. And it's like they didn't want to face their darkest fears. But, my God, there's this, this sense of like... Needing to release. There's that willing release. Somebody had to release somebody so that they could do the inner work, go on their soul journey, confront their fears, confront their shadows, so that they could strengthen bonds. And take control. I'm going to make a move, a powerful move, again, two people sharing one heart, learning, yep, someone seeking wisdom, knowledge, reaching out, reaching out for a helping hand or assistance. Someone is observing and love of bounds. Someone's watching someone that they love listening someone is going to take the lead it's like choose your battles someone's standing there just breathe win or lose well someone's feeling alone I want to put in a dedicated effort toward love. Unconditional love. And it's like there's that being broke open, releasing to allow the universe in. To things that they thought 
they needed to get clarity and belief. It's whatever they were believing. It's like they had to release it to build on a solid foundation. Healing then begins. And it's finding your way back, finding your inner compass again, mastering your emotions. So somebody was not allowing themselves to care. Not, they were like controlling their emotions, trying to control their emotions, caged up. Their emotions were in a cage. Their heart was in a cage. And it's like opening that cage. There's that uncaging. A beautiful uncaging. Somebody is allowing themselves to be emotional. To care. To feel. That's how you reach this magic. You'll come shining through. Yes, you will. You're going to shine and be able to share this love. But right now, it's like somebody's just in the water. There's feeling lost so like what direction do I go that's why they're soul searching but spirits handed over the compass so they could find their way because they really want to share this love it's a beautiful uncaging that heart that's stuck in that cage got to be open why is because Somebody was telling a tall tale. And all they had to do was simply love, but it, they started manipulating because they didn't want to face their fears. Well, they were refusing to see that by not opening their heart, it left them in the sadness and feeling this isolation. They had some inner childhood healing to do here. They had to confront the scary parts, you know. Their shadow work, that is where the best work is ever done. That's where the true healing begins. I'm feeling it heavy I really feel it why somebody was like feel the heaviness it's like that's why someone was so guarded and protective just dragging their feet they want they want this commitment it's like they were too protective it's like On a new cycle, it's like there's heartbreak here because they had no emotions. It's like they have them, but they would not express them, and it's like.
there's that happiness there's that I don't know some kind of waiting on news from a distance or I'm just saying somebody wants a new beginning Sleepless nights, nightmare card. What's this? Someone took a a leap of faith, but someone was telling a tall tale. There was lies, deception. And there's the Leo card again with this love this great love ten of cups happiness share the love it's like someone is watching observing something was revealed or somebody wants to speak a truth, wants a victory in love here, wheel of fortune, wanting to apologize or it could be their solid foundation, twin flame, working on something, a partnership, wanting a solid foundation and teamwork, a partnership. But somebody needed to apologize for being deceptive because now they're stressed out and maybe it's Tampress. And they felt stuck in limbo. Hmm. So it's looking like this person here kept the situation with their empress, their happiness, their ten of cups stuck in limbo because they were getting attention. Could have traveled at a distance to get this attention being selfish started giving to two deceiving <coughs> this could have been someone who tell me more well they could have been acting single or this person is single. This is the Empress. But this person could have been giving to two. Let's see what's going on here. Now they're sad. Feeling sad and isolated. They could have involved competition and now they're regretting it. Mm -hmm. 
don't know where this fits in yet, but this is like a union, like a husband and wife power couple, but they could have started playing around with, uh, yeah, like an ex-wife or something like that. ended something there's that balance there's that angel feeling trapped trying to make a decision or treat this person as an option but the past juggling making an offer trying to manifest a commitment or were manipulated and had to learn a lesson it could be a commitment, a divorce. Unfair to the past. Manipulating another lover, a third party. Yeah, start entertaining a third party. Because mm -hmm. they didn't want to see. They weren't listening to their intuition. Well, they pushed this high priestess, this empress. They pushed them away because they didn't want to see. They would have rather have, uh, they refused to see. So they pushed this high priestess, this empress away. Who was their happiness? Who was their Ten of Cups? The Emperor betrayed, rejected, act like they didn't care, are heavily burdened, angry. What? Because now they've been left out in the cold. Maybe lost a lot of money. Or angry that they missed the opportunity with their empress and they've been left out in the cold. Ooh. Seeing the truth and walking away healing. Turned their back, ended things, hurt, judgment, tower, soul searching. Working hard on, yep, doing the work. They're doing the work. It's like, their fears, their hiding things, their deception. It's like working hard on their toxic qualities or their fears, facing their fears. They're facing their darkest fears because they're getting judgment trying whoa so you've made a decision to communicate and they want to come toward their soulmate oh So it's 
looking like they're taking leadership. And they're like, made the dis wow, made the decision to look at this devil energy. They are putting in the work because they're under judgment. And now they're looking at a tower because I think that all their hard work that they were doing with this other energy, they were left out in the cold somehow or had to willingly release them because they were toxic, hiding things. So... <laughs> It's looking like this person is looking at like this other energy making a decision they went the path of the devils what they did and now they're getting judgment but they're looking at this feminine but she's looking at filling her own cup it's like they're facing their darkest fears okay whatever went on something went down here this emperor has saw the truth is walking away from something because ending something or somebody walked away on them it's like they could have lost their job they could be ill they could have lost a bunch of money here because they're under judgment for going falling into temptation hiding things, being toxic. They're going through a healing because it was very toxic. Whatever went down, it was dealing with the devil. It's like when they chose to leave or this empress had to make a decision to leave this person behind because they were toxic. Okay, they had no choice but to do that because this person was not expressing how they felt. They And they, it looks like it's a long-term situation. They wouldn't express how they felt. So this person, the reason why they weren't expressing how they felt, one, they had inner childhood wounds to deal with and quite honestly... Uh, they had to do the shadow work. They had to confront their fears. They had to it's like right now they're soul searching because they're under judgment. They're soul searching because they're under judgment. And there is this angel talking to them, telling them, telling them what to do, what how, how to complete this journey. Put in the dedicated effort. Work on yourself, boy. That's what's happening here. And it's looking like this person now, who the person they went to was only in it for themselves their cup is closed okay so it's almost like they attracted somebody who had no emotions like they did and this could be a baby mama <laughs> went another direction could have left them out in the cold was doing deceptive things was toxic it was a karmic they went to and this karmic could have left them out in the cold or this one got wiser and goes 
I better do the work. Why? Because they're under judgment. But it's showing that they are doing the work. The soul work. They're on a soul journey. They're on a breakup or they are taking a break to heal, to meditate. They've been wounded. That's what it's showing. And when they do the work, Spirit is saying, it was a lesson learned because what they're tall tales were all exposed and revealed so it was to learn them a lesson you better change ooh you better be balanced there's this angel now they could have screwed over an earth angel Past life soulmate, soul past life soul contract, a twin flame union, who they truly did love. This person loved them unconditionally. They are now treated unfairly. So justice is here. This is a soulmate, a past life soulmate connection, a higher level of divine union here. Apes. So that's why they're now they want to communicate with their soulmate. They're learning some lessons here, guys. Just saying. Healing begins. Start from the ground up, releasing their belief system. They had to willingly release whatever thoughts, preconceived thoughts that they had about relationships out the window. This person might have figured, well, I'm a little lonely. I'll start uh, looking elsewhere instead of putting the work into the relationship that they had. They figured they could sneak away and like, um, no, you can't fool a high priestess. You cannot fool an empress. I'm sorry. They know what's going on. Okay. And it's like, they might have been a business owner, but it's looking like they have lost a lot of money. They could have lost their job or their business. They could be going to court. I don't know what's going on, but it's ugly. And spirit kept it up until they confronted their worst fears. Put them through sadness and isolation. Yep, because of their tall tails. It's to break them open. And it's like they're feeling a sense of helplessness and hopelessness. It's like inner childhood wounds that they were refusing to see. So they were like manipulating this empress. Now they're facing their darkest fears because they went to someone with their equal... Uh, Deception. Could have put them in a competition. Well, I can tell you that this person is on a soul journey now. Because Spirit's making them. They're sitting here. Angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey that is indeed for the empress but for this individual the they're being told you know you shouldn't have trusted anybody you had a divine partner what are you doing here what's going on they're under judgment because soul searching will bring you inner peace yeah harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. There is phoenix rising from the ashes here. Be prepared to be renewed of a period of crisis. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity 
for feeling the weight of the world, I'm telling you. It's a beautiful uncaging, though. I'm saying it is. They're getting a higher perspective. Someone saw through the smoke and mirrors. They awoken the genius, had to let it go so they could just simply breathe. It has a power of purpose. That's what happens in divine unions. Now, like this person here is facing their darkest fears because whoever they went to betrayed them. Don't know how, probably financially, probably maybe another lover. But that's what karmics are there for, to teach you a lesson. That's what they did. They went to a karmic who is teaching them a lesson. And now they got to face their darkest fears. Leo, there's good things ahead. This soul journey that this person is going on, or you yourself likely are going through it if you're twin flames, you're divinely protected. And this person has to face their darkest fears. They went to a karmic, and now they have got to be taught a lesson. And it's looking like they are soul searching and they are doing the work. Take care.